subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates. The 265-meter-long wind tunnel, being developed by the State Key Laboratory of High Temperature Gas Dynamics, under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, can simulate wind speeds of between Mach 10 and 25, Hong Gilet, a researcher with the lab, said in a China Central Television CCTV, interview over the weekend. China has had the ability to conduct research on hypersonic aircraft. The hypersonic wind tunnel provides a key platform that supports the technological research and verification of hypersonic aircraft used in multiple fields such as aviation, aerospace, and the military, Song Zhongping, a military expert and TV commentator, told the Global Times on Sunday. Hypersonic aircraft are defined as aircraft that travel at speeds of Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, or more. South China Morning Post reported in November 2017. Han said the current wind tunnel can simulate flights up to Mach 5 to 9, according to the CCTV report. The contracts revolve around Sukhoi 35 combat jets and S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft weapon systems. These are some of Russia's most advanced weapons technology. We also supply a large number of aircraft engines to China, Russian officials said. All these projects will continue. Some might question the wisdom of Russia's actions. China is renowned for reverse engineering foreign technology. Some analysts say Beijing is on the brink of a self-sufficient weapons program. This could endanger Russian exports. But this doesn't seem to phase Russia. This may be, in part, because of Western sanctions. Feeling the bite from sanctions, the Kremlin is less concerned about what it sells. Selling advanced weaponry to China actually has an array of benefits. Russia and China share a common interest. Both wish to diversify their economies away from the West. Russia's sanctions and China's unquenchable desire for trade are a match made in heaven. Military trade is one avenue the two nations are exploring in the quest to break free of the United States. It is not the only avenue. In late 2017, Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev said he hoped the two nations would have $80 billion in bilateral trade by the end of 2018. They finished 2017 with $84 billion approximately $8.1 billion of that was in December alone. This powerful trade relationship undermines U.S. led sanctions. The trials were conducted by a group of scientists from the city-based Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE, and army officers at an elevation of 11,000 feet in Sikkim. Scientists and soldiers tested the gun in extremely cold conditions. It delivered positive firing results even in minus 20 degrees Celsius, the DRDO official said. The official said the gun's mobility, a crucial factor in high-altitude warfare, was favorable too. All mobility parameters were checked during the trials, the official said. Last year, the Guns Desert trials were held from August 24 to September 7. Results from these trials were positive too.
The Indian Army on Sunday released a video accusing Chinese hackers of targeting users in India via WhatsApp. The video, urging people to use the social messenger application safely, comes about four months after the army had warned soldiers posted along the line of actual control, lack, against using a host of applications, including WhatsApp. Tweeting from the Indian Army's official handle, the additional Directorate General of Public Interface, Ajpi, said the Chinese were penetrating the digital world. The Chinese use all kinds of platforms to penetrate your digital world. WhatsApp groups are a new way of hacking into your system. Chinese numbers starting with plus 86 barge into your groups and start extracting all the data, a video tweeted by the HP said. The army advised users to be vigilant and urged them to conduct regular audits of their groups to see if any number starting with plus 86 had joined a group. In case you change the SIM, destroy it completely, the video said. It went to add that information mined from such groups was being leaked to Chinese hackers. <music> Lieutenant General Wei Feng He, 63, a close confidant of President Xi Jinping, was the last commander of China's missile unit, the Second Artillery Corps before it was split into two the People's Liberation Army, PLA, rocket force and the strategic support force making them a potent force. He was appointed as the defense minister by the rubber stamp parliament, the National People's Congress, NPC. Sitharaman recently announced that she would visit China next month, the first visit by a top Indian official since last year's 73-day long standoff at Dokalam in Sikkim section. The visit was announced amid diplomatic efforts by both the countries to reset the relations on a positive mode with high-level visits including the expected visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to take part in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO, summit to be held in June at the Chinese city of Qingdao. The Indian Army will soon begin contract negotiations in the multi-billion dollar deal for the Very Short Range Air Defense System or VSHORAD, after several retrials and delays due to certain non-compliances by the vendors from the given specifications. The activities relating to the contract negotiation committee for the deal started in mid-February. The bids will be opened shortly to select the lowest bidder so as to begin cost negotiations a defense official was quoted as saying by the Hindu Sunday. Before the bids are opened, a benchmark price will be set based on various factors, and the bids will be checked with it. The request for information, RFI, was issued in 2010. Three companies made it to the trials MBDA of France, Rosabaron Export of Russia and Saab of Sweden. Three companies are in the contest and all have been declared compliant after the retrials held last year, the official added. The V Shorad tender is intended for the Army and Navy and estimated over $5 BN for 5,175 missiles and 1,276 single and multi-launchers with stipulated technology transfer requirement for Defense Public Sector Undertakings, DPSU. The system should have a maximum range of 6 km and an altitude of 3 km, besides all-weather capability. It will replace the IGLA. ET has learned that no less than top leadership of the Coast Guard has come under scanner of Bangladesh government for its role in the alleged smuggling case. Dhaka has apprised Delhi of the latest development and is investigating the role of foreign powers in creating disturbance ahead of elections in Bangladesh. Security establishments of both sides are coordinating closely in this case. It is understood that the smuggled arms had reached Dhaka and may be used to create unrest ahead of elections towards the end of the year. The first cache of arms was allegedly smuggled in December 2016 through Chittagong port. 
This is reminiscent of the 2004 incident when 10 trucks of Chinese arms meant for ULFA and other terror groups were nabbed in Chittagong. Terk Zia, son of then PM Kaleta Zia, was later found to be involved in the smuggling case. In the new cases, when arms were smuggled or tried to be smuggled, Coast Guard ships were curiously missing from the coastal waters, raising suspicion of role of senior officers, hinted persons familiar with the matter. Bangladeshi officials suspect that these arms are also meant to disturb India's northeastern states which have witnessed peace since the Sheikh Hasina government handed over all insurgent leaders hiding in her country to Delhi in 2009. The Coast Guard has not yet ordered inquiry into the smuggling incidents and this have raised suspicion about role of its leadership in the episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.